and welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and I am in co-op with GT. GT's at the garage and we're in the Flatlands. As you can see though, I am in the Twin Steer. I'll show you the map and get GT on the map. He's at the garage in my fem. So say hello GT. Hi. I know I didn't hear a thing. Okay, hello. Um, the plan will be we're going to try and get this garage fully up and running. I'm going to do pimp my ride. So I need to get cement and service spare parts. And GT is doing fix my ride, which involves going down to the metal works down here to pick up four metal rolls. That's why he's in the fem, and he will drive back to the garage. So fairly straightforward. We've also got mods. The only mod active is the bobblehead, which will give us the radar. And as GT's passing this area, possibly past this the essential task, he'll open up the bobblehead and fire off the radar and open up this little bit, make it a bit tidier. Uh, once I've done my cement, so I'm coming down here in my twin steer, just because it was convenient, four slots, I need four cement. I'll pick up the cement from here, which is unlimited, and head back to the garage to drop off that. And then I need to go up to the pipe works to get the service spare parts, also unlimited from that. But unfortunately, when I click on the service spare parts in the contract itself, it takes me away down to the farm, which is not helpful because there's only one there. So... If you're still in the same position, remember, pipe works unlimited. So that's where we're at. Okay, GT, do you want to get you on the move yet? No, you're not. Right, time to get on the move. In fact, let's fire up the engine. Right, I'm on the move. White Western started part out of the way because he was part right next to me, which is a little bit too close. That was too close as well. And off we go. So hopefully we'll be round about... Probably dropping off the stuff at about the same time. We did try... We've got a couple of wee glitches going on with co-op again. And I don't know fully why it is. I'll try and explain it in the best way possible. Just in case anybody of you guys are having a similar issue or have a solution to it. I tried to jump from Flatlands where I currently am into Pinelands Garage, sorry sign, and it crashed my game and I'm the host. Don't know why it was doing that, it didn't do it in Michigan. The other thing was, because we've got mods activated and only one tiny little mod, which is a GGMS bobblehead, I couldn't get Michael into the game and he and GT are both on Xbox. The download happened on both consoles, but Michael just could not join the session with the code. It just wouldn't let him do it. Really bizarre. The poor Michael couldn't join. And break on. My cement. Fastest load ever. I think I'm going to reverse. Yeah, so I don't know what happened with that. It might be a case of I'm going to have to go vanilla completely which is a bit of a shame really but go vanilla to bring back co-op make it a little bit easier for everybody it all means we can move through the contracts and tasks a bit quicker we just can't use all the, all the good mods that are out there try not to hit anything ok back to the garage this will be quite good because I, I did want to get the twin steer back to the garage anyway. This won't take particularly long. I don't think these two contracts, since we've got two people doing them. I think if it goes well, we'll be looking to move on to another contract that will open up a whole bunch more. I'll explain more when we get to it. I don't want to complicate it in case the game crashes again and we can't even do it. So there's no point really. We'll just take it one step at a time. But it's a nice fine day here. Sorry GT, what was that? I was asking, do you have the top engine in the film? It should be, yes. It, well, it may not be the top, because I, when I was uh, configuring it out, the two specific engines for it, the one that you find, I believe, had a lower power-to-weight ratio. 
than another engine that you can get. Yeah, they are. Does it feel a bit weak? Yeah, but it's this articulation is weak, not me. That's strange because it is the most powerful engine. Or well, maybe next time, if we can get this garage up and running, I can then get back to customizations and then maybe try the other engine. I don't know, maybe if it gets a bit of a buff because it's specific for the FEM and it might improve the articulation. I don't know. I did mention it when I found the FEM and got it back to the garage, it, that the, the middle engine had a better power to weight ratio. It wasn't the most expensive one. You, you got lots of money from filling the two that you picked up. Yes, that's right. Okay, I'm going to go in this other gateway. I'm going to make it one go. Yes, I am. Okay, force med. And four. Right, that's the cement done. Back in the garage and we'll see where GT is. With garage, retain. Oh, I'll be so good to get customization open. Right, local map, where is he? Oh, you're just outside the metalworks. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Right, I am going to jump into another truck for these service bear parts. What have we got? Truck storage. I have to take whatever's currently configured. I did see one further down my list. It was a little pike. Where are you, little pike? There you are. Yay! That'll do the job. Right, uh, we are heading north now, so I come out of the garage, turn left, past the dam, left at the gateway almost and round. Okie dokie. Is that the quickest route? You could maybe go that way, but this is all asphalt, mostly. That's got to be quicker. Safer anyway. Yeah, there's the... I got the Dan out for Michael for when he jumped into the game. I'll need to put that away. Oh, don't hit my... That was close. Yeah, it's such a shame how both Michael and GT are both on Xboxes, yet Michael... I, I don't know if they're the same Xboxes, to be honest. Oh, I've got an X and he has an X. Oh, you're an X, he's an S, yeah. That might make all the difference for all I know about Xboxes. But yeah, a shame that one joins and one doesn't. Especially a shame considering we manage Michigan with next to no mishaps, as in connection problems. It is what it is. We'll, f we'll figure something out. Damn. Timing wise, I think I'll pull you back at the garage at roughly the same time as GT at this rate. Are you on the move back I'm north? Yeah, a bit longer because I'm taking the detour to get closer to the black area so I can scan it. Oh, you get okay, you're taking a detour, okay. I hope the, the bobblehead works. Through here, this will be the junction for the gateway. Making good progress. Boat detour. I think I didn't bother with this. Did I do this detour before? When I first came through, I can't remember. Oh, it's a bumpy end though. Fortunately, the pike is super awesome.
go ahead with the tree. And we go. Load me up, please. Your finest service spare parts. No time to waste. Tell me over there. I know. I've got to go the scenic way back. I say the scenic way. It's probably not the scenic way, but it's the quickest way. Maybe be a little bit more careful this point don't want to lose him no crane no autonomous winch excellent one saving game you're stuttering my game Done the scan from the sea, most of which was flat before. Do you want me to go right over to oh, Hold on, I can. My, I can't hear you from my truck. You've done the scouting, you're saying? Oh, yeah, I can see where you are and I can see the big you want circle. To reveal the last bit. I'll. I'll yeah, I'll worry about that last bit um, when I'm heading down that little road. Unless we've got a job that takes us down here, don't don't go out of your way. Let's get the garage open. Because yeah. even if you go down to the water's edge, you're not going to uncover it all. We'll need to go down the other side of the map. You carry on back to the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to beat you there as well. It's fair, they can pass this trap. Say that again, Gigi. The fence isn't that fast. No, the fence not fast. I mean, I've never really driven it in anger yet with its modifications added in. So I don't really know. I need, I need to spend more time in it properly. I mean, my trip from picking it up back to the garage probably doesn't even count. So, we'll see. Again, I've never really been a massive fan of the articulated trucks, especially when the articulation is quite weak. However, the jury will remain out for a wee while. I definitely chose the best of the two options, the two contracts there. I'll my ride much easier. Yeah. Will you say that again, GT? Have you finished already, Bob? Yeah, I'm just outside the garage. I like to go in the out roads for some reason. Right, let's get this done. Are we going to get a cutscene for something? Maybe. We are. Yes, I'm Gonna... seeing. Yep, sorry. Truck shop and best truck. So we've got... We have got... The truck store and the customization. Excellent. Right, hide that. It says, check this out. We can now bring vehicles right to your doorstep and customize the appearance however you want. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. 7,950 cash, 950 XP, and I'm going to accept.
accept that for sure. Only thing that we are waiting on now is with the one that GT is doing. That will allow us to fix it. Let's go back in. Hey, yeah, I don't think I got fixed there. I can customize. Nice. That makes it so much better. Right, let's retain you. We need to go back out and pick out what we're going to do next. Where are you? Oh, you're getting there. You're getting there. Next. Next job. What I was thinking was not short circuit. What's that? The generator from up there down to there. Okay, it doesn't really give us an awful lot. No warehouses, no better roads. So maybe I'll leave the White Western Star there and the White Western Star can pull it down at a later date. What we were considering doing... Reloading. Gives us a warehouse, access to location. And I need to service... I need a scout to get this large service scout trailer from the cooling towers over there. Okay, I'm going to track that. We'll need to find something for GT to do shortly though. Hey, you are doing fix my ride, but you'll give us the refuel and the repair. Equally as important. Um, let's, while we're in the garage, let's pull out our little scout for us to figure out what we're going to do. Close that. Truck store. What have I got available? Scouts. Ford F750 would be my first choice, but it can't attach those trailers. So we need, and neither can those. What have we got that's fairly normal? Oh my life, we haven't got an awful lot to choose from. <laughs> We've got a TUZ and a Chevy CK 1500. It might be okay to pull it with a winch, but I feel it's a bit cheaty. We've got the Neo Falcon. I'm going to use the Neo Falcon. I deploy that. Um, have you got in the car yet? Sorry? Have you got the rock? Wind a car yet on the first map? On the first map? No, I haven't. Things to do. Right, I'm going to get underway. I've got a tow hitch, got my roof right. Again, it's a nice little DLC or add on truck. It should be fine for this anyway. Am I going to go past you yet? Are you coming in? Where are you? Oh, where are you off to? Have you done it? GT, I think you've gone the wrong way. It's turning and I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I caught you on the map there. Like, where the heck are you going? You were literally closer to the garage. <laughs> You don't want me to get fixed and repaired or refueled. Eh, I'm going left. You say there was no cutscene or nothing? Where's he off to? He's just racking up miles on my femme. Try not to crash in this little guy. I kind of like that we're given scout trailers to go and fetch because often once you've finished exploring, the scouts become redundant. So now that I think it's it's good that they bring this in. Unless you're going to put the scout trailer onto a, a truck, wouldn't you? If you've got a crane, stick it in the back. Then you've got to use a scout, really. They're definitely not the, re the correct tyres for this kind of road terrain. Yeah, I'm going the right way myself. Am I, am I giving GT some stick here? Yeah, am I going the wrong way? No, it is down there. It just hasn't appeared yet. So I want to turn right opposite the gas. And then, okay, good. Whew. 
just to levy now. You just over there? Yep. Okay, I'm ready for a cutscene. There he goes. Oop. Oh yeah. Kaboom. It's appeared. There goes the metal rolls. That was fix my ride. Well done, GT. Great, you know where to find us if you ever need repairs or diagnostics for your ride. And with that, we got 5,950 cash, 690 XP. And I will accept it. Refuel and repair. Okay, let me pull over to the side of the road so I'm not in the traffic. Not that there's much. What so what would you like me to do now? That's exactly what I was just thinking about. What do you think, because you're miles ahead of me in the game, what do you think would be good to do, probably on this map, even if you maybe want to go down and do that scouting down in that southwest corner with the bobblehead, you could go and do that if oh, you wanted to. Oh, fixing those bridges. The fix the bridges, that's these two over here by the cooling tower. So that we can't do yet. I'll tell you why, because... To do those two bridges here and here, which would be mighty handy, is split loop one, split loop two. But you need to do reloading first, okay? Reloading is what I'm doing. So you can't do it until I'm finished that contract. Well, but... Can I collect the stuff that we will need? What's that? Uh, what cargo is needed? Um, the cargo for, in fact, um, split loop two, which is the first one of the two, which is that one, one metal beam and two concrete blocks. Now, concrete blocks are not on this map, but the metal beam is. So that would mean you'd have to go all the way back down to the metal works, unfortunately. You want to do that? Yep. Okay, well, that will save me going down there then. Right, so you're going right the way past to the metal works, one metal beam... The concrete blocks, I believe, and I'm going to go global, are in the reactive zone. Is it one of these symbols here? And so that is a multi-map, and when I've tried changing maps, it's crashed my game. So I'm going to try and stay in the flatlands at the moment. Uh, yeah, so metal beams is fine, and we'll find something else to do, I'm sure. If not, we can get some of this... Uh, opened up again. Got a little bit more to do. Uh, everything else is opened up. But we'll let him get on his way. Are you on the move? Just about. Do you want to change the truck or are you happy in the fem? I'm in the map. You what, sorry? I'm okay with the fem. You're okay with the fem, good. I'm just marking up the route. Ah, you're setting up the GPS waypoints, okay. Because I was thinking I could have always. You could have always jumped into the Dan with a low saddle and come up to the trailer store and pulled out a decent trailer if you wanted to. It's your call. Sorry, would you prefer me to do it? Oh, I'm, I'm easy ozy. It's either or because the trailer store's not far away, but then again, you're already in the fem. That's a perfectly capable truck. You can do whatever you like. I will continue my way to reloading, though. Reloading is this one? Close that. Where's my trailer? Down there. And getting these two roads open, it would save us so much trouble coming down here through the crappy roads if we can go straight across and down. Yeah, that'll be a good one to get done. Right, let's get on the way. Something on the road there. Don't want to hit that. Ooh, that's quite a bounce onto that bridge. We'll keep it right here, I think. Sun's going down. Where is it at? Yeah. We'll need to get it back round to the next day shortly. Feels like the engine's over revving. 
needs another gear or two. Understeer to oversteer. Here we go. Hello, little trailer. Next, come with me. But I'm going to get the time of day around. What have we got? Oh yes, dinner time. We'll go for six o'clock in the morning, I think. Are you going for the Dan? Oh, you've jumped to the Dan. We're just going across the reservoir. I just see that, yes. You're heading for the trailer store? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll be heading your way just shortly. Go back out and we are heading from here, I think it's still quicker and better to go the roads past the garage and down and in, as opposed to fighting my way through all of that across and then in. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a bit of a repeat. Did I actually change the time of day? Yes, I did. Okay, hopefully they'll get bright soon. I even get through here. Most definitely. Quite a decent proportion combo. Still quite a big trailer, but small for most things, box wise. Wait, are they LED lights? Do they actually work? Hmm. I really feel for that engine. It is so revving too high. I think it's the right gearbox because you don't have permanent diff lock or anything so I like the fine tune for that. Bring a left, watch this trailer try and overtake me. You're going to go around? Oh, you're following quite nicely. An interesting colour morning. You expect like a, a nice sunny morning like that but that's quite pink. Oh. You okay? Sorry. Sorry, that slid right across the right then. It slid? Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Oh, there you are. I was just going to park up and see where you are. You're about to go past me. Oh, you got the step deck. Yeah. Oh, I'm all over the place. Oh, I'm leaving them in my dust. have to be better with something. I know exactly, yeah. But slow and steady usually wins. And bouncing this trailer off the crash barriers and all sorts. Oh, 
The worst part is still to come when we go off-road. That could be a challenge in this wee guy. I'm going to have to keep trees in my window to winch to them, probably. Pulled it behind them of the truck. Yeah, that's a, that is an option. I'll try it without doing that. I don't want to cheese my way through this. I want to try it with the scout as they intended. We'll grab some fuel out the step though on our way. We could probably take it out of this guy. Let's just stop here just in case. Refuel from the large service trailer, 220, yeah. I'll leave it as is. Good enough for me. Thumbs, let's get out of the way. Because you're going the same direction as me, aren't you? Do right, you know what? You are going the same direction. You go first. I'll let you pass. Oh, coming through. Here goes my wing mirror. Remind me to give GT a wide berth next time. Right, okay. At least I've got a potential mobile winch point should I need it. You're not going to get lost now though, are you? I got lost before because I was taking that detour for the radar and got off my way points. Shocking excuses. But it was only me that gets lost using waypoints. That mud. I should have attached a winch to the back of that trailer. Now he's disappearing off into the... You want me to wait for you? Um, I just can't remember how bad this road is. It might be handy, at least then you're on screen too as well. Wherever you are. Oh, there you are. Right, give me a second, I'll catch you up. The whole point of co-op for me. Right, go around this way. No, that... Let's see if we can... Oh, no, quite, not quite. I need to get a bit closer. No, that's not it. That's not it. Right, I'm already when you are. On you go. I'm connected. Yeehaw! Oh! Disconnected for some reason. That wasn't me. Right. Go. I'm ready. Oh, it's disconnecting. That's bizarre. Is it because I'm, I'm powered? I can't do the winching. I'll not do any wind. Oh no, it's disconnecting. That's really strange. Let's try once more. Right. In fact, let's connect that. I'll do it that way. Right, okay, I am definitely connected. I'm not... Is it desyncing or something? Is that maybe why? Must be. Oh, that's not helpful. Oh, it... You okay? I'm waiting for you. That's a tree you're hitting. Yeah, I want to do You want my glasses? Back with broken you. These dirt tracks are fine, it's when I get into the mud, it's like, oh, you're going that way? No. Oh, there's no way. 
Right, I've connected a winch. Let's see if it goes. But I'm... I'm dubious. Oh yeah, I need to go. Well, okay, off you go. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to let you drag me. <laughs> no, it's released. Hmm. I need to go in there, though. Right, I'm going to try and connect again and... Right, okay, you've got me. Go, go, go. I strongly suspect it's going to release. Go slowly, if you get a choice. Okay. But you're going to cut through the gap there. You okay? You look like you're about to sink in the mud. It's very slowly getting through. Yeah, you're, you're kind of out. The trailer's about to go around the corner, and I'm probably going to get pulled into a tree. Right, okay, I've driven around the tree. On you go. Is it still connected? Don't know. Yes, it is. I think it is. Yeah. Oh no, it's released me. Sorry, on you go. There's a couple of trees there. I'll make it through that last bit. On you go. Not the best winches if it's going to release you, though, is it? Crikey. Something about the step deck, Tyler. No idea if it is a step deck or if it's just uh, maybe the co-op desync. Hey, what tree am I going to head for now? Uh, look a bit limited for choice. Let's hope it's okay. I'll slow the slow the wheels down. I'll make it there. It's just slow. Looking at the size of that trailer, oh, that's going to be an absolute doozy of a contract. Okay, which way am I going? Hey, can I even get round there? <laughs> oh, I got damage to my diff. I forgot to switch it off. Oh, still switch it off. Oh, my poor diff. Out the way, boat. Coming through. Oh, we're in the crane. Hammer around. Right, hold on. I am going to use some of that since they've cost me. That's my roof rack. I completely fixed. Oh, I used the wrong thing. Refuel. Add that into the bill. There we go. That's reloading done. We could have waited, but with all the construction going on in the area, time is of the essence. So we'll just have to keep going. That's logistics for you. 5,400 cash, 510 XP, and we gained a warehouse and access. Is it that one over there? Is it that one over there? I don't know. Hide rewards. Accept that. What might have appeared? Is it this one? No, that's a drop-off point. Transformer yard. I don't remember if that's what's new. Concrete, <gasps> concrete blocks! This is a new one. We have now got unlimited concrete blocks at this dock. Excellent! I don't need to do multi-map. Sweet! So that means we can, if I go into here... Where is it gone? Split loop one and two. Split loop two was the blocks. Superb. I'm going to activate that. The that button. Special beams that I need this in it. 
and that one. Yeah, I've, I've activated split loop one and two, so now you should be able to access them for your screen. But obviously I'm in a completely wrong vehicle for picking up anything. Uh, maybe... Uh, yeah, I would be as well just leaving them here. Back it out of that mud though. We'll leave this guy with a nice watery view. Come out of the way though. Our engine off. Maybe you can get a wee brew in that quarter cabin. Or maybe in the sheds. Right, how are we doing? Um, where are you at? You're at the pickup point. Up two metal beams. You picked up two, yeah, you never know if you're going to need another one for something else. What? Each of the split loop ones needs one. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, one for each. That's handy. So I only need to worry about the concrete blocks then. I need to go back to the garage for two concrete blocks. Now, what did I use? Where was... Oh, I put the pipe back in the garage. Right, okay. Let's go back to the garage. We will try something else. So now that we can customise... What about... What have we got? What have we got? 6-5... I haven't used this for a while. Yeah, good boy. Customise... Don't want the saddle, take that off, and we will put the sideboard bed. No crane, unfortunately, so I need to be careful. Oh! I'm heading back to the docks once again. these concrete blocks and we're going to have two bridges opened up. What was the other thing for, for you? Metal beams and what? Concrete blocks is what I'm after. Metal beams and split the one. Oh, it's four concrete blocks. Oh, in that case. Oh, okay. There's no point in me doing one. If, I'm, if they're both concrete blocks, I'm going to jump into the femme. That's four slots. That makes much more sense. Sorry, Tega. If you're getting the metal beams, I'll grab all the blocks. Gives me a chance to drive the fame again. Just leave this at the side of the road. Never know when you'll need a Tega. You stay there in the shade, engine off and break on. I need to put the map view for my fem. Oh, it's nearly out of fuel. Let's get him back in the garage for a quick refresh. Maybe we could just try that other engine since GT seemed to think it was a little bit weak. Power to weight ratio A. What is that? That's different. Okay, big engine it is then. Everything else is okay, I think. Yeah. Out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What a start-up that was. This feels so weird being in the articulation. I'm so glad I checked the contract there for your other half of your bit. Oh, 
We've got permanent all-wheel drive and selectable diff. Um, can't stay on the road. Ow. That's quite a hole there for me to take a dent with the size of those tyres. That's full speed ahead. Slow and steady for this race, again. And I think I'll go the same way that GT went, is it? I've got the funny feeling he went a slightly he went through there. Get okay, down to the pickup point and we'll have a look at the map and see where he's at. And it's quite a wee drop into that water there. Might be why he's just sticking the wheel tracks where you can see the mud. Not bad. A left of this one to the chicane. Grab them now. Cargo management. Cargo management, right. Concrete blocks. One, two, three, and four. Fuel's absolutely fine. Quick check of the map. Where's he at? Oh, he's way over there. Oh, you're going that way. Okay. Okay. I suppose that makes sense if you're down at the metal works. Right, okay, I'm going to go back the way I came and get round to the second one, Split Loop 2's drop-off point, which is near the gas station, and then I'll maybe be able to come round for the first one, since you're going that way. So you get there first, you might be able to get through to drop off yours first and get to the second one before I'm there. The race is on. Um, I need to get turned. Out the crane. See, that turned quite easy, but I don't know if that's just because I'm on a decent surface and the articulation just turned while I was at a standstill. Don't know yet. It does take a little bit of getting used to. It's more so the camera follows the cab, it just moves it and it can feel a bit... Ooh. I'd almost prefer it if the camera followed the back end of the trailer. Oh no, that is a... That's a deep wee spot there as you drop into the mud or the water. Put out. Now just try not to tip over MJ. You can. When you've got all-wheel drive, get up that hill. Got a 
delivery to get done and get some bridges open. Come on, heave. Oh, he dropped the first gear. Come on, that's not too steep. I think it's actually going to maintain a better speed if I just leave it in high ratio and only drop it into low for the muddy stuff and bring in the diff lock. All learning with these little tricks and foibles of these trucks. Get out, come on, stay in high ratio, good. He's got good, good torque there. Up, up, up the hill, up the rocks. Yeah, okay, he's actually, he's good in high ratio, that's what I'm learning. If you're not in a rush, even though we are in a rush, this might prove to be the faster way in the mud. Turn, come on, come on, turn, turn, turn. It'll be interesting to see what the modders do to this truck. I'd like to think that GT has made his first delivery. We'll quickly check the map again while we're on the decent roads. Where are you? He has, so he's heading round for the se are you heading round for the second one there? Yeah. Cool. I will meet you there. seeing enough of this dam in this episode. be interesting purely out of curiosity to put this against the twin steer and just like test them out in similar scenarios hill climbing speed strength this guy wins with the fact he can attach trailers whereas the twin steer you can't so this guy's already got a plus point but Articulation's not everybody's cup of tea, whereas the twin steer doesn't have any, it's just normal steering, but he's so long. Ease it up. Oh, no, no, oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. <gasps> oh, I saved it, I thank, thank you, tree. Thank you. That well, there's a lesson learned. This thing is tippy. But then so's the twin steer. I'm... I... Spammed the winch button there in the hope it grabbed something better than a little bush, and it did. Okay, fast corners with loads, not ideal. That would have been a major setback.
Hey, am I it? Oh, don't tell me I've got to go over to the other side for this drop off. I'm doing two, not one. That's why. Um, not that one. It is in Pine Line Energy. Split loop two. Right. Yeah, that's more like it. Here's my drop off. Leave a bit of room for GT to get into the box. Cool. Engine off. Save that fuel. Let's have a look at the map. Where's he at? Oh, he's a... Okay, he's further away than I thought. That's fine. I'm going to wait for this bridge to be open, then I can just cross it and drop off, hopefully. Oh, or do I need to be on that side? Better check that. Or number one. Oh, no, I can. I can drop off there on the inside. That's cool. Wait for this bridge to be open, then do... That one, cool. Might as well activate that while I'm waiting. That'll really make things so much easier. If he's coming through. You've stopped. Yeah, well. My oh, that can't, I can't hear you, GT. I, it's caught out by going to the wrong side of it at first. It's conked out. I said I was caught out. Oh, you were caught out. By going to the wrong side first. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Well, now, it was six or two threes, really. I could have probably gone the long way as well, past the metal works where you were at, and come north. Unless the drop-off has to be in the middle by the cooling towers for you. I'm going to check to see if the metal beams for this one is on the middle as well, or is it only... Is it two separate drop-offs for each one? Metal beams drop-off. What is there? Ah, uh, maybe... Yeah, so maybe you did go to the wrong side. Oh, okay. He's making progress. Everybody's watching you in the map, GT, but there's no pressure. Honest. <laughs> and then once we've got that opened, what else can we do for the future episodes? There's prep, and then there's prep. I thought we had to do that to open up things. That's through in the reactive zone. It takes ages. That one will take ages. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Spring cleaning. What's locking out that? That's two towers. Okay. Two towers is down here. One tower. <laughs> okay, where's one tower? That one. Okay, we need to get that done soon then. Accept that. So if I'm doing co-op play, anybody can start it. What else was there? Power lines. One. Power grid needs done first. Power grid is there. Oh, look at that. It's locked out by three. Two towers. Static pressure. And you spin me right round. You spin me right round. There is that one. I need to do... Okay, that's prep. I've done that one. That's fine. Can't activate that. And static pressure, there's prep. So I need to get this prep and then there's prep. So that's the two twin, two towers, one, and there's prep. Okay. Okay. Logistical planning. Right, where are you? Uh, you're just it's coming in. The path station. Yep, I can see you now in the map. Swing a left and swing a left back out. Yeah, that left. Evening's drawn in. Let's get it around to the daytime so it's a nice daylight drop off. Prepare your eyes. 
Left again, and a nice wee drive round the decent roads. This is nice and easy for me. I love co-op. Co-op with three and four would be even better. We'd be rattling through these contracts. We need to figure that out. Okay, I need to reselect my correct one. Loop two again. I think using the Dan was a good call for that job. It does go through the mud quite well. I can hear him. Right, that's going to be that one. I can move out the way a bit further. Preparation. Here he comes. So you're going to cut the corner into the box. Oh, okay, I'll move forward. Liberal uses of the horn. Hey, look at that bridge! Nice, well done. Split loop two is now complete. Let's get the number one. And it says this makes getting around so much easier. Good job, man. 10,500 cash, 1,020 XP. Accept. Moving forwards. You coming? Yes, he is. Nice roads through here. Hey, okay, I was going to cut the corner, but there's a bit of a ditch there. Don't cut the corner. I'll get rid of mine. Two, let's get out of the way. Here we go. Hey! That makes it so much easier with two people anyway. So that's split loop one. It's neat and minimalist. More and more importantly, practical. Yes indeed. Another 10,650, 1,020 XP. Good job, GT. Good job. Mind the way. Let me move out of the way a wee bit further. Have you got much fuel left? Have you got any spare? Yeah, I can I can throw some fuel your way at a cost. Uh, I don't know if I'm close enough. I am. I'll give you from my trunk repairs. Back to the garage anyway, I think. There you go, 193. That'll get you back. Thanks. Right. I'm going to call it there, GT. So I'm going to stick my engine off, save the fuel. So thanks to GT for helping me out in this. That was a, a well worth couple of jobs there. Got the garage up and running. Two bridges opened. Top notch. So, say goodbye, GT. Maybe? I did say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. It didn't come through. Thank you for taking the time to watch us. I hope you've enjoyed the co-op play again in this new Season 12. There will be plenty more, I hope. You'll see us again soon. Bye for now.